Okay, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the autoresponder in the most effective way. So you can see right here, it's the third one down, it says auto responses. So this basically means automatic replies when people text you in, text in. So there's there's two main areas. There's top three where it says new contacts, res responded once or responded twice. These are based on how many times somebody has texted in. So that way in the future, if you want to send just specials to people who've texted in a few times, um, you can send directly to that group. Speaking of groups, every auto response you create automatically creates a group that you can send to. So let's say they have texted in, um, let's say you had this auto response active, which is who. Let's go ahead and look at that. So in who, we have a few keywords here at the top. Who, comma, you are. So I'm guessing that these are keywords that somebody would text in to this phone asking who we are. And then we would set up an auto response. And let's go ahead and um, edit this real quick. So we say, we are a company dedicated to serving your needs. You either subscribe to be on our list or we added you. We hope you stay. So you want to customize this to whatever yours is. So you might want to say, you know, if you're a restaurant, you might want to say who you are, where you are, stuff like that. Um, if you're any kind of business, you just change this to whatever you want. So when people type uh, text in who or, you know, who is this or, or whatever keywords you want to put here, if these are triggered, the app will record that person as triggering the who group. And later on, you can text everyone who's triggered that group. That's super important because let's say you have these other ones on and people have texted in great or fun or awesome, nice, cool, good, sweet, thanks, you know, that type of thing. And you want to send it just those people. Or maybe they've complained and they said that it's bad or terrible or horrible or it's rotten, whatever it is. So after a while, what happens is you can create as many of these auto responses as you want. And basically everyone you're contacting back and forth with, they'll start being organized into groups based off what they've with what they've triggered. So that's important because maybe you have one in here that says, you know, Thursday night specials and they've texted in Thursday night specials or they're in that list, you know, to send to them or maybe they're on NFL football night, right? And so you want to create a group for NFL football night. You text your entire list saying, you know, text in the word NFL to be on our NFL specials list. And you want to send them just that group. So it's a base, basically what it's called is, is list segmentation. So this is automatic list segmentation. And basically it just allows you to divide up your, your people based on their, their responses. So the important part that you're going to want to know if you're just installing this is new contacts. If you have this top keyword area blank, everyone who texts in will automatically be added to your customer list or your subscriber list. So, you know, you want to, if you want keywords in here, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And if this is not active and somebody texts in, the app will ignore them. If this is active and they have one of those keywords, it will add them to that list. Or maybe they've triggered, you know, this this bad auto response down here. And by the way, you can change the name of these by just pressing holding on the name. See how we did that? So let's go ahead and change the name of that one. Okay, so somebody who had a bad experience. So maybe I want to make it up to them. Maybe I don't. But if they trigger this bad experience, they're also going to be in your main database to, to send to. They're automatically going to be in this new contacts list. 
So a lot of this is, may seem kind of confusing, but the important part is that everyone who texts in will become part of your text messaging, text message marketing list, unless you have the new contacts list active and you have keywords in here. So that's one way to ignore certain people. Like if you're using your phone for more than, you know, just business, if you're using it for business strictly, I usually just have people um, leave this blank and that way anyone who texts into your phone for any reason become part of your marketing list and depending on your state uh, you got to look into your rules if that if that's allowed or not but generally if a customer contacts you you can contact them back no matter what so let's say you wanted to add a new one see these buttons down here add and remove so we're gonna go ahead and click add and it just created a new entry it tells us to long press to set label so let's go ahead and change this to, or add the word specials. And we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna hit show. And over here, we're going to put the word special. So that way, if somebody texts in the word special or specials, because that's the, the root word, this is gonna trigger. And we're gonna say, thanks for signing up um, you are now on our specials list and use smiley faces you know and make sure you say who it's from so in this case we would sign it is texter and close the keyboard and we're gonna go ahead and turn the show off but we're gonna turn this on and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna text into this phone um, and so we can see that it triggers it so we're gonna go ahead and hit the back button so I'm gonna go to my normal texting app and we're gonna I'm gonna send the word special and send it in. Now this is going to go, you know, of course, back straight to my phone, but then also see, you can see the automatic response here. It was triggered. Thanks for signing up. Uh, you are now on our special list, biz texter, which is really cool. So now let's go back to the app and see what happened here. So if we go to contacts, oh, you wouldn't know it, but uh, one additional contact was in there. Um, so let's go to app statistics and we're going to go to groups and you're going to see right here one there's one person in our specials group so that's how the autoresponder works my advice is to have as many auto responses as you can in here and other apps other businesses that we're doing we have maybe 20 25 different things people can say which will trigger an auto response. And many times we'll have conversations back and forth um, seven or eight times with the customer, um, you know, getting the information they want. So you might have in here, um, let's add another one real quick while we're here. Um, this is an important one for a lot of people or a lot of businesses. It may not be to you if you're not using this as a business, but locations. So we put in here the word local. So it gets locations, locale, and let's separate this with a comma. So location. And so where we have, if somebody texts in the word local or locations, we're gonna give them this auto response. We are in Spokane. Oops. Spokane, Washington. And I might say, you know, this is Biz Texter. You know, if you have any issues, give us a call. I might put my phone number in there, whatever it might be. And so we go ahead and close that and turn it on.
generally you want to have at least open these up and customize all these ones we've put in there. Um, generally those will help. <clears throat> you don't have to have stop here. Um, you know how we see it right here. You don't have to have that on every one, but it's considered generally good practice to end all your automatic messages with reply stop to end. So they know they can reply with the word stop. Um, but we have natural language opt out. So if they say stop texting me or they say any kind of, of 60 to 80 different ways of saying it, it will automatically opt them out of the phone, remove them from your contacts list and send them a, a message saying, you know, to that effect that they've been removed and won't receive any more messages. And that's really cool to keep you in line with, with whatever kind of laws that, that may be out there. So that's it. That's a quick tutorial on the auto responses. Um, we know it's kind of long. We hope you like it. Thank you so much and have a great day.